We don't need ramps where we're going. We're in the deep, dry. So basically, our answer to the solution was to build the subfloor. 4,650 cuts. Fine, he says. Everything's fine. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackknife Motors. So we got this ProMaster van we have here behind me. Oh, 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 oh. there it is, the Ram ProMaster. It is in need of a little bit more storage. Uh, the customer reached out to us and said that his ladders and his tools and stuff had been falling onto some solar panels and he needed a solution. So we built him this custom subfloor that he can go in his van. He can put his tools, he can put his ladders underneath his product so he doesn't have any more damaged product. And after that is done, my buddy Tyson sent me a Facebook post last night off of a local 4x4 page where a couple had gone out in the West Desert. You see at this time of year out in the West Desert, it is nothing but quicksand. It is absolute trouble for anybody that goes out there, but it also invites people to go out there for a good time, getting their vehicle all muddy, and unfortunately for this guy, completely stuck. So once we get our work done on the ProMaster van, we've got to load up the fat trucks and all the recovery equipment, head out to the West Desert, get this guy unstuck, get ourselves a little bit of good karma, and then get on with the day. So we got a lot of work to do, not a lot of time to do it, so let's get after it. Oh, 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 oh. there it is, the Ram ProMaster. What's up, man? You got our job here today? I think we got our job. Some of it. Well, we got? We got one out of 150 of it. <laughs> Here's the scope of the job. So, basically you have a, a van with a whole bunch of empty space. All right. One of the problems that popped up was ladder storage. So, to my understanding, the customer had a ladder that was on the side of the van and they would constantly hit the ladders, rip them off, um, pulling into like parking garages and stuff like that. So, what they wanted to do was utilize some space inside here to store the ladders. So, basically our answer to the solution was to build the subfloor and there was a couple different options on building the subfloor. We could have built it out of steel to where we would have had to weld it, we would have had to powder coat it, and then install it. And also, you have to have skill to labor. You'll have to have guys welding all the floor frames together, and quite frankly, we don't have that right now. There's only two of us in the shop, so we kind of get by with what we got. Me and you, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Cole's our number one welder now. <laughs> the alternative was to use Another material, which is an uh, inch and a half aluminum extrusion. It's super strong. It isn't gonna rust. And we can bolt this stuff together. And it's kind of versatile to where we can move things around. So we ended up going that route. All right, we are building a ton of these vans. And we're gonna need a bunch of this aluminum. Nice, man. We got 35 stacked up here. How long do you think it'll take to cut all 150 pieces A to N? It could take two days, three days, but we don't have all the material here just yet. Oh, okay. Five minutes later. <laughs> oh man, you got a ton of these things in here. What letter are you on? I'm on letter G. Letter G. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. How many of these you got to do? 187. 187 of these. 187, he's doing 35 at a time. And these are 39 and 3 eighths inches. Uh, 750 total. Wait. There's 750 of those pieces total. And we're cutting 35 at a time. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas, dude. So in total, there's 4,650 4, cuts. And we're not very far through. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they just keep getting bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> Now that we've got this jig made, it should be more efficient on the uh, follow-up builds. We've got about 150 of these bands, bands to build at this point. So this should make it more efficient. Once Jared has this put together on the jig, 
We can then install it into the van and then prove the concept of the jig itself. We just want to make sure for the installers over at Basin that this works efficiently and effectively before we send it over to them and just tell them good luck. All right, man, you got this in. How do you think it's coming together? Oh, it's coming together great. We got small adjustments just for the legs, making sure that we can fit through ladders. Got the conduit box all bolted up. Got the panels nice and secured in there and everything. It's looking really good and it's coming together really nice. What is this uh, made out of? You know? Plastic? Polyester. Polyester urethane. So that's nice. So how sturdy that is. Bam, bam, bam. Cool. So, customer's gonna be able to stack his product above the floor, and they wanted ladders to go in here. So, pretty effective. You got two big holes for ladders. And once we get that floor in, we're gonna actually look at putting these tool racks in. These tool racks are really nice. They're from Ranger, and they have little cubby holes, everything you need to keep your tools organized and nice. Van floor turned out really good. The aluminum, ext the aluminum extrusion, pretty solid. Like we stand on this hundred times, it's just not moving. Um, we got the Ranger shelves in there. Uh, lots of shelving, lots of space for storage, lots of space underneath for like ladder storage and stuff. So I think this accomplishes the uh, the task that we had in place today. Um, the floor and everything just turned out perfect. So we are loading up. The fat truck and the hauler and we are headed out to help this michael kid get to work on time tomorrow starts a new job in park city and uh, he's got to get his forerunner unstuck hey let's put it on the truck, let's put it on the truck. i don't think we need those man i think we're going to show him that we don't need those we don't need those we don't need those just put it in uh, mud mode no ramps I'm gonna load this thing without protection. We don't need ramps where we're going. <laughs> gonna let him send it, no ramps? I, yeah, I just don't wanna break all your stuff. Yeah, well, his stuff. His stuff. <laughs> I'll let him break his stuff. All right, let's get loaded up. Whoa, look at the air pressure. There are no ramps needed. No ramps needed. <laughs> yeah, we didn't use any ramps. Hey, that's all I needed. <laughs> all right, everybody. We uh, headed out on a special mission today, doing some service project stuff. And uh, our guy Tyson, who you guys know, this guy saw a uh, someone on one of his many Facebook pages that he frequents that is stuck out in a mud pit. Kid seems like a college kid, younger guy, just out having a good time and got stuck. And keep posted on how this goes, and uh, hopefully we uh, get to put this fat truck to use. Me, Jim, Dave, Tyson, and our new friend Michael all left South Salt Lake about an hour ago. We are out in the middle of nowhere and we're about to get Michael's uh, Forerunner unstuck. We got about a half hour more to drive to get to the Forerunner. We actually, he doesn't remember where he put it. We got about a half hour drive ahead of us and we're just looking for his truck somewhere out here. He's got a, like a 2006 Forerunner, I believe. So if you've seen it, let us know. Michael does not remember where he put his uh, forerunner. It's on me. <laughs> it's that way. Over there somewhere.
This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> so they're blowing this stuff up. Maybe they're blowing the up those trucks. This your zone right here? This is where we unload, or do we keep driving? Yeah, it's just a uh, little ways down here. A Camry made it. Um, this is not a Camry. Call. Yeah. This is slightly heavier. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the pros. Road. Five miles, or are we like two miles? Uh, not far. Let me see. <clears throat> It's down this way, we think. He thinks it is. No, I'm sure. No, it's here. It's here, we think. <laughs> if you have the photo of it, the photo's likely geotagged. It is. Exactly, yeah. He's that's why, at, that's... He's looking it up. That's what we're depending on. Yeah. I so mean, it's, it's, it's out here. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see it once we get over that tiny little hill up in the distance. We're going to keep driving until it gets soft, I guess. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, he says. Everything's fine. That's what his girlfriend said when she was headed back to town. <laughs> All right, we're in the deep, dry, hot desert, as you can tell. We got this super heavy, super long, Chevy 6500 with our dovetail on here. What we don't want to do is get this stuck. If we get this stuck, it makes for a really long day. We know from experience. We're still on a pretty stable road here, but it was starting to get pretty soft. Our uh, tracks are sinking in pretty good. So we're going to unload here and we're going to wheel in the rest of the way with the low pressure machine and uh, see if the old fat truck can get her done on a uh, service project, save the day type of day. Cole, I got another uh, set of boots if you want. There, yeah. No, go back over there. Get well, out of mud, dude. I'm fine with it. No, man. Cole, I brought two sets of boots. I got a set too. Oh, man. Look what you did, Michael. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> this is really thick, wet, heavy mud. Really went for it. Well, at least you got to where you were trying to go. Right here. Right here in this hole in the mud. Oh man. Show him your shoes. <laughs> Cole came really prepared today. He brought yeah. a really good pair of uh, mud vans. They are my mud vans. That's good. This one through his, and hand me that one. Each D ring multiplies our, st our strength by over a pound because that's about what they weigh. <laughs> they weigh a pound? Uh, I'll, it's, all together. I bet it's two or three pounds per D ring. Big this. I'll hold the rope out of the mud and do this. Nope. Everyone hates a dirty yank and rope. Ah. Oh. That will definitely add some pounds to your scenario. Keep the rope clean. Brand new. This hasn't yanked one yet. I was waiting for something. It's it good. <laughs> Real disappointment. Hold on, hold on.
looks like they got stuck right here. This should have been the uh, first design. Keep going. David dumped his basket carrier right in the swamp. Yard sale of all of his nice camping gear. Freaking guy. Now you're ready to go, you can spend another night. If I wasn't starting a new job tomorrow morning, I totally would. Yeah, right? Quite the trenches you dug. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man, I can't see. <laughs> Down. Ah. Ow! Turn sideways, yeah. First time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.